In the last lecture, we understood the first type of function in asymptotic notations, which was the decrement function. Now, in this presentation, we will understand the second type of function in asymptotic notations, which is the constant function. In this lecture, we will understand the constant functions in details. So, let's get started and let's see what are the topics of this lecture. The first topic of this lecture is constant functions. We will first understand what are constant functions and then we will compare the constant functions with the decrement functions. Let's get started with the first topic which is the constant functions. So, what are constant functions? The definition of the constant function is as follows. A constant function is a function which is parallel to x-axis. The examples are 100, 5,392, 1 billion and so on. These are all constant functions. And here is the graphical representation of the constant function. In this graphical representation, we can observe as the size of the input increases, the function remains same. This is the reason why these functions are called constant functions. Because they remain same as the size of the input increases and they are parallel to x-axis. I am assuming here that this function is f of n and n represents the size of the input and it is equal to c which is some constant. It can be 100, maybe 1 million, maybe 1 billion, it does not matter. But it is a constant. And this means that it does not depend on the size of the input. As the size of the input increases, the constant function remains as it is. And therefore, these functions are parallel to x-axis. That's what we can observe. So now we know what are constant functions. Let's now try to compare constant functions with decrement functions. So, this is our next topic, that is comparison with decrement function. A constant function is asymptotically bigger than the decrement function. Why is that the case? In order to understand this, let's take one simple problem and through that problem, we will try to understand why the constant function is asymptotically bigger than the decrement function. Here is the simple problem. Fn is equal to 100 by n. This means Fn is the decrement function because 100 by n is the decrement function. Recall what a decrement function is. A decrement function is a function whose denominator is bigger than the numerator. We can observe that n is greater than 100, therefore 100 by n is the decrement function. So, fn is the decrement function and gn is the constant function because gn is equal to the constant 10,000. Is fn equal to big O of gn? Or in other words, is gn asymptotically bigger than fn? Or in other words, is the constant function is asymptotically bigger than the decrement function? I want you to solve this problem on your own first. We will then together solve this problem. So, pause this video and try solving this problem on your own. I hope you are done. Here comes the solution to this problem. We now need to show that fn is equal to big O of gn. For this, we will apply the big O definition. According to the definition of big O notation, fn is equal to big O of gn if and only if fn is less than or equal to c dot gn. For all values of n where n is greater than or equal to n naught and c and n naught are constants. So, if we want to say this, that fn is equal to big O of gn, then fn must be less than or equal to c dot gn for some constant c 
and this must be true for all values of n greater than or equal to some n not let's try to prove this for this purpose let's try to make gn as small as possible for this purpose we will multiply gn by c equal to 1 by 10000 we know that c must be multiplied to gn and c we are assuming is 1 by 10000 then c dot gn becomes 1 and now we will try to prove that fn is less than or equal to c dot gn for all values of n greater than or equal to n not here we have fn less than or equal to c dot gn we know c dot gn is 1 and fn is 100 by n so can we say that 100 by n is less than or equal to 1 let's find out let's draw the table for 100 by n and 1 and let's plug in different values of n here for n equal to 2 100 by n is equal to 100 by 2 which is equal to 50 what about 1 1 remains as it is it does not depend on the value of n what if n is 4 100 by 4 is equal to 25 but 1 remains 1 what if we take larger values of n let's take n as 100 100 by 100 is 1 and 1 remains 1 before this we can observe that fn is greater than c dot gn but at this point we can observe that fn is equal to c dot gn what if we take even larger values of n if n is equal to 1000 then 100 by 1000 is equal to 0.1 and what we will get here we will get one here at this point we can observe that fn is less than c dot gn so we can say that n not is equal to 100 because at this point fn is equal to c dot gn and after this point fn is less than c dot gn it remains less than c dot gn as we proceed and take larger values of n so we can say that 100 by n is indeed less than or equal to 1 this is true therefore gn is asymptotically bigger than fn or in other words fn is equal to big o of gn and this means that the constant function which in this case is gn is asymptotically bigger than the decrement function which in this case is fn so we come to this conclusion that constant function is asymptotically bigger than the decrement function this is just one problem you can take any problem like this and you can check this on your own whether the constant function is asymptotically bigger than the decrement function or not With this we are done with the comparison of the constant function with decrement function. Now we are done with this topic and this means we are done with this lecture. Okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i will see you in the next one.